Police about a dog attack in Montgomery County. Investigators say four people were hurt, including a man who was mauled. Seven News on your side's Tom Rousey is live in Silver Spring, where he spoke with the dog's owner. But first, Tom, what's the latest on the victim? Well, I spoke with the main man who was attacked, his daughter tonight. She tells me he's still in the hospital. The fire department describes his injuries as not life threatening, but they were very serious. And you can see some of his belongings still on the ground on the street out here tonight where the attack took place. We want to warn you some of the images in this story we're about to show you, you may find disturbing. I'm told this was just a terrible attack. I'm shocked to, for everything that happened. Again, I know my dog, my dog is not aggressive at all. Bertram Henry's family owns Jimin, the dog that attacked the man. Henry was not home at the time, but he says he's stunned. He says he does not believe pit bulls are naturally violent like some people think. It's all about how they're raised and um, brought up. And again, he's never been violent with nobody. He's around kids. Um, is this never occurred before a witness told me off camera the attack was horrifying. She said the victim is a senior citizen and the dog kept biting him in the legs and forearms and would not stop. She says when Henry's family members tried to stop the attack, the dog even attacked and injured them. They finally got in a car and acted as if they were going to run over the dog to try to get it off the man. Prayers go out to everyone. You know, not just to him, but my family as well. I was in shock. I just hope he's okay. Melissa Espinoza has known the man who was hurt and his wife a long time. He's very nice, the family very nice, and he, I always see him walk to just like a typical walk every day to get the mail, just to exercise. She agrees the dog that attacked the man has always been friendly. I was never scared of him. But she did add this. Just please uh, have your dogs on leash, no matter what size, color, anything, mm -hmm. just to be safe. Elderly man was mauled by a dog. The victim is in the hospital, and tonight we're learning more about the desperate attempt by the dog's owner to stop the attack. Fox 5's Lindsay Watts live tonight in Aspen Hill with those new details. Lindsay. By all accounts, this was a vicious attack. Neighbors say these are the victim's flip-flops still in the street tonight. There are broken glasses, a hat, and in the daylight, you can still see a lot of blood. Police say the man attacked is in the hospital in serious condition, and the dog owners, they were hurt as well. Another caller is advising that the dog will not let go of the victim. Frantic moments here on Bailey's court after a pit bull latched onto a man who neighbors say is in his 70s. He's very nice, the family very nice, and he, I always see him walk to just like a typical walk every day to get the mail, just to exercise. Another neighbor who didn't go on camera says she called 911 when she saw the man on the ground, the pit bull biting his arms, ankles, and feet. The dog's owners desperately trying to stop the attack, even using their car. The animal call, I have an urgent update. Residents are currently trying to run over the dog with a car. Nothing further. Have you ever had any issues with the dog before? No, no, not, a, not at all. Bertram Henry owns the pit bull, but says he wasn't here at the time. He says he's had the dog for about three years since it was a puppy. I'm just shocked. Um, my I raised that dog, you know, it's a family dog, it's a friendly dog. He says his mom, sister, and grandma were also bitten trying to stop the dog. We talked to neighbors who say they often saw the pit bull around the neighborhood with its owners, but off its leash. I never seen him attacking or barking at people or towards me or my family. And I have a small dog and I always walk my dog and he was always friendly. Montgomery County Police say the dog is with animal control and will be euthanized. I do want to say, like, I, I apologize to, you know, everyone who was involved in this party and, you know, praise God to everybody, too. He says he still doesn't know what happened in the moments leading up to the attack. Montgomery County Police have not indicated whether there could be any charges or citations for the dog owners.